good day and tonight we're going to discuss about how to protect your inverter from any insects so especially lizards uh, they're the one they're the number one culprits when it comes to frying off your inverter so I'll insert a picture uh, as you can see a lot of inverter users or any electronics for that matter that have holes like this as you can see it's huge uh, preventing them from entering or I would say discouraging from entering uh, is essential so we not be able to eliminate it but at least we do some preventive measures on how do you protect your active cooled hybrid hybrid inverter so uh, this one is a TBB hybrid off-grid inverter which is actively cooled so on the previous video we can see that this one has a lot of uh holes so especially on the top because the air this one is an uh force upward you can see that the air is drawn upward and that's why they have holes in here to cool down to dissipate the heat coming from the heat sink inside and also this toroid which is will, uh, which will be running uh during uh heavy loads because uh, this one has a three times capacity of its surge so if this is a three kilowatt it can go as much as uh, nine kilowatt uh, as per seller or distributor uh, disclosure but uh, we have to check uh, if uh, what's on the manual itself I did not uh, check the manual first uh, this one is just because I'm preparing for everything so I'm going to put the holes on this so that uh, to discourage any potential ins insects or especially lizards uh, that will uh, creep in or will go in inside your active cooled inverter so what I do uh, of all my active is you only need two things one is you need to have a double-sided tape so i already uh, uh earlier i already made a uh, paste this in on the upside so for illustration and the most important thing is a 3m this is a 3m filtrate so this is an aircon filter so this will not this will not interfere on uh, the airflow if it does it not it's negligible but what you can do every six months if you can see that uh, your filter is already uh, dark then you can just remove it and replace it so i'm going to show you where's the easiest part to replace it uh, on the top it's not necessarily that you can replace it every every often but on the bottom you need because this is where the airflow comes in so uh, just to show you what are on the other side uh, I'll lower my cam okay see there's this is the fan that blows up so this is also we're going to protect also, I already have also the double sided tape ready so I will just uh, make a video on how do you protect it properly and then on the next video we're going to power this baby up okay so how to put it so I made earlier I already made a cut out cut out so that fits on top and also at the bottom so let's going to start so remember this is not a bulletproof prevention but at least this would discourage if not help your inverter last long because one of the main culprits as I've uh, mentioned earlier 
are lizards especially the small ones that will go inside and then would touch your sensitive high voltage DC elect electronics and that's it your inverter will fry and the cost of repair is not that much but the hassle to have it remove and then i would say ship this to your uh, your uh, repairman or this authorized uh, repair personnel it's very hassle okay we remove everything and now all we have to do is to place this on top and voila that's it see now maybe you're wondering oh why is it at the bottom not on top it's because the airflow is going up so this would prevent uh, the filter from flying off if you're going to have it reverse on the top what will happen is will uh, the the fan will blow this up so that's one of the major problems okay and then the next would be on the fan itself so we're going to have this Okay, that's it. So, same thing what I did on my uh, SEC. So, as you can see, I already placed the uh, filter also here. Because if the air goes up, so that we say they will take on the other sides when it comes to the airflow. So, you can see this if it goes dark, then all you have to do is to, re is to remove. So it's very useful. And on my ACC also, the solar charge controller, I already place it in here on the sides because remember, this also has a lot of air holes. See? And so goes with the sides. So all are pretty covered up. So that's how I do it every time I have an active cooled inverter. So I hope you learned something today and thumbs up if you like the video.